This question, we're looking to determine the average velocity by the object uh, where the displacement is graphed here in what we're shown. Um, and so when we see average velocity, we should stop and uh, recall that the average velocity is always the total displacement over that total time. And we can mark them as vectors if we wish. And the total displacement, remember, is where we ended up as uh, shown on the graph here, um, versus where we started. So where we ended up is 9 meters uh, from the zero point, and where we started was negative 3, so we're subtracting that negative 3. And the time it took from 0 up to 25 and a half, and so that's meters and that's seconds. So on the top, we have 9 minus negative 3, or 9 plus 3, um, 12 meters over 25.5 seconds. And we can make sense of that. Let's just take a look um, where we ended up versus where we started. And we can see that we're going from the negative 3 all the way up to the 9 for a total of 12. So yeah, everything's making sense here. Now, the one thing we could note is if we were asked about the average speed, then this little bit up here where we go ahead and then back up a little bit, th then that makes a difference because then we would include that bit of distance going ahead and back. But when we're talking about displacement and average velocity and therefore displacement, um, we wouldn't include that. We're just interested where we ended up versus where we started. So we can throw this into our calculator and we end up with 0 0.47 meters per second. Again, it is a vector, so we do recognize that it is positive. And what positive means in this case is that we're going in the positive direction there in the same way that our displacement was in the positive direction. So yeah, that makes sense.